Haji Sadiq Zadar Saab, thank you very much. And Sadiq, thank you very much for your translation. It was good to know. I think on behalf of Third World Solidarity, we do agree with you, Saab Zadar Saab, and we demand and request uh, the Afghan government, but as Mr. Amiri has said, because of security reason, and we know Afghanistan as a country is going through a transitional period, we have seen that two times elected government has gone, and now new elected government with a consensus has developed, as Mr. Amiri said, that President is Ashraf Ghani and Chief Executive Abdullah Abdullah. So it was the two candidates of President who got the maximum votes, and now they are running the government, and I hope it will be a stable government, and it will try to look after the citizens of Afghanistan, and we also demand from government of Pakistan and state of Pakistan to look after the Azara community living in Afghan, uh, pa Pakistan as well. And that is our demand. It will remain your duty, the people who live here, Liaqar, Mazrooq Saab, Sadiq Saab, to campaign for the people of Azara wherever they live and raise the profile of them. I'm really thankful to Andrew George who has come and listened to our previous speaker, and now I will ask Andrew George to come and share his thoughts with everybody in this room. Thank you. One of the one of the messages, really, which I would I would convey to you and those who are standing up for the beleaguered um, Hazara, those who've been kidnapped, and, and indeed other uh, the, the, the the Hazara and, and other minorities in, in in Afghanistan is 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 really Britain's role. If it has any role at all in the world, it has no right any more than any other country to have a say. In, in, in countries like Afghanistan is to, is to, is to really encourage and support a stable government. And, and I think that, uh, as you rightly said, that's, that is, that is uh, uh, if you like, a sign of progress uh, in, in Afghanistan. We cannot, and it wouldn't be appropriate for, for the United Kingdom or the United States, certainly, definitely not any other country to believe that they know better than the people of Afghanistan how to govern themselves. All we can do is to will, encourage, and to support uh, um, emerging democracies, um, countries that have been in conflict and have, um, ha have gone through the, the kind of recent um, uh, conflict and, uh, and, and difficulties which, which clearly Afghanistan um, has done. Um, I mean, uh, <coughs> I hear your, your messages this, this evening. Um, you've seen, of course, that the, the United Kingdom and indeed other countries uh, believe that we could play a role from 2004, especially in Helmand province, but across the, the country. A lot of people in this, in this country, I think, described our role as a war in Afghanistan. I mean, I never used that language. I, I always said that our engagement there was about peacekeeping and nation building. Yes, we had to use hard hats rather than rather than berets in order to do that that job while we were there. But our role wasn't to engage in in, in war. We weren't at war with the Afghan people. After all, uh, we were working with the Afghan government and helping uh, a, a country which had been had been um, you know, appallingly beleaguered, a poor country that deserved uh, deserved our support. Providing we did it with with the consent of the of the people there, as far as it was possible to do so. So, um, I mean, the recent events and the impact this has had uh, on destabilizing uh, the the sense of of, of, um, of, um, of security for the Hazara people is something which which I think we we may much uh, take on take on board here. I mean, if there is any role for the United Kingdom in any way to to assist, and I and I, and I, I heard um, the, the, the plea for the United Kingdom to, to play a role. If it's a, if it is appropriate, then of course it's important that we convey that message 
uh, to the to the Foreign Office, to to the UK government, to make sure that if they if there is a constructive role which they can play, that they do. I mean, I am uh, a Liberal Democrat member of Parliament. I'm not a I'm not a government minister. I, I, I'm not here to speak on behalf of, of the of the government, but simply to say that whether it be Afghanistan or indeed any other nation on the earth, that that. Uh, the, the clearly the only the only long-term solution to the kind of problems which you have and indeed exist in other countries is to respect the identities of the people and the, the different peoples that exist within those nations. As I mentioned earlier that I'm a Cornishman, I'm not an Englishman. Um, uh, we have a Cornish language, you know, and, and but we don't we're not at war with the English and uh, we have we hope that the English are not at war with us. Uh, we aren't kidnapped by other people. Uh, we're, we're, we're respected and tolerated. <laughs> I hope more than tolerated. Um, and, and I think that that is absolutely essential when it, when it comes to finding an established, uh, an established way forward for, for the people, whether it be the people of Afghanistan or the people of any other nation on the earth for that, for that matter. So I, mean, I hope that the, the fact that you have some, some British parliamentarians who stayed after the House is um, uh, after the house has closed, to to show a sense of solidarity with you, the Hazara people, and to say that we stand shoulder to shoulder with you in seeking a country which is able to live at peace with itself, where all peoples within the within Afghanistan respect each other, uh, acknowledge each other, and respect each other. Uh, we know that we're a long way from that. And, and, and we, but we still feel that we in the United Kingdom, if there's any role that we can play, we, we, we obviously want to try and try and try and do that, working with your government uh, and, and with your people. So thank you very much indeed for inviting me. I'm sorry I can't stay uh, for very much longer. I, I can see that, that George Galloway has arrived, and, and um, I'm sure that he's never short of a word or two on uh, these or any other matter. Uh, but certainly this matter, and, 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 and is a highly respected uh, voice on this. So thank you very much. Thank you very much.